Hi everyone, in today's episode I'm going to be talking all about the advantages and disadvantages of clear plastic retainers, Hawley's retainers and fixed retainers. The great thing about clear plastic retainers, which we commonly provide to all of our patients, is that they're virtually invisible. So what this means is that you are more likely to wear it. Um, and what this in turn means is that your teeth are less likely to move back to the positions that we um, started your treatment at, which is what we really don't want. The whole point in having braces is to hold your teeth in, in their final tooth position. These clear plastic retainers are less bulky and some would say they're also more comfortable than the Hawley's retainers. They're also less likely to affect your speech than a Hawley's retainer. So they do have a few advantages over the Hawley's retainer. However, they also have some disadvantages. Now, unfortunately, with the clear plastic retainers, if they do break, they can't be repaired. If you expose them to heat, which you mustn't, they can change shape. So please be careful while you're cleaning these retainers um, and don't leave them somewhere hot, like on top of a radiator. They do also tend to become discolored with time, so they can change color. They can go a little bit yellow, um, a little bit cloudy as well. Another disadvantage with the removable clear plastic retainer is that um, when you've got them in, your top and bottom teeth don't naturally touch. So you've got a slight gap when you close your teeth, which can feel a little bit strange to start with. Um, but with time, you do actually get used to that. Another disadvantage with the removable retainer is that you do have to take them out when you're eating, drinking hot and sweet things and brushing your teeth. Um, otherwise liquids can get trapped against your teeth and the retainer, which can cause cavities, which obviously we really don't want. Okay, moving on to the Hawley's retainers. These consist of a plastic plate um, that fits into your palate on your top teeth or near to where your tongue is on your bottom teeth and you have metal wires going across the front of the retainer and little clasps um, which clip onto your back teeth. The Hawley's retainers do have a few advantages. They can be adjusted if you need a better fit when you first get it or if, if you need or if your teeth need slight realignment. It's slightly more durable than the clear plastic retainer. If it's broken, sometimes we can repair it. And the other advantage is that when you've got them in, you can close your teeth together and your teeth do meet. So that feels a little bit more natural. Some of the disadvantages of the Hawley's retainer are that it does affect your speech a bit more than the other types of retainers. It's more noticeable than other types of retainers because you have this metal wire going across the front of your teeth and the wire itself may also irritate your lips or your cheeks initially. The final type of retainer that I'm going to be talking to you about is the fixed retainer. So fixed retainers consist of a solid or a braided wire that is curved to fit around the shape of your newly straightened teeth. This wire is then cemented to the inside of your front teeth to stop them from moving. Most commonly, we, we will put a fixed retainer on your lower teeth if we do use them. Their use is really quite case dependent. It'll depend on what type of retainer you prefer, the original positions of your teeth, and also how good your brushing is, is also a factor involved in deciding whether or not a fixed retainer would be good for you. Sometimes we refer to fixed retainers as being permanent, but you can actually remove them later on if you find that you have a buildup of plaque or calculus, um, which isn't such a great thing because obviously it can irritate your gums and cause gum disease. Fixed retainers do have a number of advantages. You don't need to worry about following any instructions about how and when to wear it. It's just there, you can leave it, forget about it. It's doing its job without you worrying about that aspect. Um, others can't see it unless you have your mouth really wide open or your head tipped back. It really doesn't affect your speech at all. And provided you look after it properly, it doesn't get damaged very easily. Also, you can't lose it. Fixed retainers do have a few disadvantages, however. But it can be quite hard maintaining really good oral hygiene, especially things like flossing. Because you can't remove it, you have to use a special type of floss called super floss to clean underneath the retainer or some tiny little interdental brushes. Because cleaning is so difficult, this can lead to a buildup of plaque and calculus, which can lead to gum disease. Fixed retainers, they can still break if you bite into something. The problem this has is that often you won't realize that it's broken until your teeth have actually moved. This is especially common if you're not also wearing a removable retainer. It's attached to your teeth, so some people just don't like things being permanently on their teeth and also the metal wire can sometimes irritate your tongue. So in conclusion, each type of retainer has its advantages and its disadvantages. 
my advice to you would be to consider each of these when deciding which one you feel will be the best for you. You can discuss any concerns you have with your orthodontist and trust that they will guide you on which retainer is best for you. Thank you very much for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video in which I'll be explaining how to clean your retainers. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I'd love to hear all about your experiences with retainers. Do you have a retainer? What type of retainer do you have? Please let me know. And I'd also like to hear any questions you have as well. I promise I'll get back to you. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.